Welcome to Staff Works Explained, a channel that explores events and uh, issues uh, in different parts of the world. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you are a repeat viewer, I thank you for the support. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Rwanda SGR. It's a, co it's a continuation of the series that we have been doing for SGR projects. Uh, as we know, Rwanda is one of the countries in East Africa that has no rail network. But the country is planning to build an SGR to link, to link it with the neighboring countries such as Tanzania and Uganda. The system is also expected to uh, also move to DRC and Burundi in future, and this is part of the East African Railway Master Plan. The real estate uh, system will consist of several major sections. Uh, the first section is Rusumo Kigali section. This will be measuring. Uh, 150 kilometers and it's part of the Isaka Kigali SDR uh, which is a joint railway project between the governments of Tanzania and Rwanda. The second section is Kigali Rolbavu. Uh, once the SDR reaches Kigali, the governments of Rwanda and DRC are expected to work out on modalities for the extension of this railway system to DRC territory. The section from Kigali to Rolbavu is about 150 kilometers. Uh, and uh, in 2019, the government of DRC and uh, Rwanda uh, were in talks, and the DRC indicated its, its willingness to participate in the feasibility study for the SDR to extend uh, to Rubavu and Goma. But the diplomatic tiff that is currently being experienced between the two countries has derailed some of these plans. The other section is Kigali Bugasela uh, Airport to Nemba section. This is a 60 kilometers uh, section that stretches from Masaka in Kigali uh, through Bugesela International Airport to Nemba at the international border with Burundi. The fourth section is Kagitumba Kigali section. When the U Uganda SGR is built, the Uganda SGR, which is planned to connect to uh, Rwanda SGR at Mirama Hills, from this the line would pass through. Nyagatare, Katsibo, Isumbi, Ruamagana, Gasabo, and terminate at Masaka for the cargo and Dera for the passengers. Uh, the prioritized section is Rusumo Kigali, is part of Isaka Kigali Fees, as you had said. And Rwanda is looking for 1.3 billion to fund the construction of this section, uh, which links Rwanda and Tanzania. The figure is higher than what was originally planned by one uh, 100 billion uh, and uh, the study for this section is already completed according to the minister of state who is in charge of transport rwanda is looking for a staggering 1.3 billion dollars to finance this portion with the aim of reducing logistic cost boosting trade and engaging or, or easing the movement of people between these two sections Initial studies have shown that the project will uh, connect landlocked Rwanda to the Dar es Salaam port and uh, the cost uh, of the whole project is expected to be 2.5 billion. In the Saka Kigali project, Tanzania is expected to fund the 371 km section from Isaka to Rusumo to the tune of 1.3 billion. Rwanda is also expected to finance the project with similar uh, amount. Uh, but Rwanda will, will incur extra expenses as it tries to extend the line to Rubavu, which is a, a town near uh, DRC border. In terms of what has been done so far, the government of Tanzania has had earlier announced uh, plans to, de to invite international tenders for the construction of this project, and uh, that starts from Isaka Dry Port to neighboring countries of Rwanda and DRC. It is confirmed that the feasibility study for this link between Tanzania and Rwanda has already been done and the two countries are now looking for financiers for the project. The rail link is part of the uh, US dollar 14.2 billion plan to build the 2,500 kilometers of the SDR lines in the country over the, parts, over the next five years. It is intended to reduce congestion and decrease freight costs by 40%. Each freight uh, freight plane is expected to transport up to 10,000 tons, equivalent to 500 ro lorry or loads. 
It will also connect Tanzania to Burundi and Uganda, making it another enabler of regional integration. Tanzania and Rwanda, uh, as well as uh, Burundi importers, says that on average they pay $4,990 to import a 20 feet container, while the sub Haran average is about $2,504. That's almost twice as much. And this significantly affects the country competitive competitiveness in terms of cross-border trade and ends up driving up commodity prices for the final consumer, something that the SGR is expected to address once it is operational. Uh, by Rwanda choosing to uh, go with the Tanzanian link or route, it is abandoning an earlier uh, plan between Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Uh, as we know, Rwanda plans to develop the rail link to Indian Ocean ports through Tanzania, and this is an abandonment of the previous plans where it had to use the Kenya-Uganda route. This is because Tanzania route is cheaper and shorter than the route passing through Kenya. Although geopolitics have played out in persuading Rwanda to abandon the route, the Tanzania route is seen as to be cheaper and would not take long to complete compared to the Kenyan route. In 2013, Rwanda, Kenya, and Uganda had agreed to link up the port of Mombasa along the SGR, uh, and this cost was estimated to be 1.3 trillion uh, Kenya shillings, so or 13 billion dollars. Studies by East African Community Member States showed that Tanzania option would cost Rwanda between 800 and 900 million dollars, that is, 91 billion, while the Kenyan route, in terms of Kenya shillings, while the Kenyan route would consume. One billion dollars. Out of this assessment, Rwanda opted for the Tanzania route uh, because it is seen as cheaper and would take less to be constructed. Uh, there has been delays in the uh, actualizing of this project. Work on this project was expected to start in 2018. However, in 2023, as we speak. Uh, little progress has been made. There are a number of reasons that have been quoted as sources of this delay. These include difficult in obtaining finance. At one time, President Kagame was quoted saying that the project had some challenges which must be overcome with financing being the main one. He also said that the project involved several partners with each having different views and sentiments of different kinds. Sometimes politics step in said the president, adding that they, were, they have to work around this problem. Kagame explained that the master plans of the concerned parties need to be harmonized for the construction of this uh, railway. According to an agreement between Tanzania and Rwanda, uh, the two countries were supposed to mobilize funds for the section of, in their territory, but in collaboration with other parties. Each party was to own infrastructure within its territory but both had to adopt a common operation maintenance manual to allow seamless operation. The two countries agreed on the financing modalities with Tanzania seeking a loan to fund the Isaka Rusumo stretch while Rwanda opted for a public private model for a stretch. Kagame has been quoted saying that building a railway is a capital intensive process but the returns are high since that Rwanda is considering private public financing option in order to make it easy and less, cost, uh, less costly for the country. Some of the uh, anticipated financials for this project include African Development Bank, European Investment Bank and the United States, which the President says have shown some interest. Latest revelations, uh, revelations and geopolitics indicate that it might take longer than expected for this project to be actualized. Although Rwanda was in the regional SDR project or well, the country is planning to do this kind of a project there has been no legal implementation and this has been another uh, uh, another problem uh, being the fact that there has been no legal implementation structure to guide the country in building a, a management and maintaining of the SDR project has been a problem which has caused delay but the country uh, has, en has enacted a law which uh, will uh, guide how the project is implemented. Uh, 
so those are some of the problems that have uh, has be, uh, been delaying this project and uh, we hope that soon it will kick off and uh, Rwanda becomes one of the latest countries to have a railway network so we'll be looking at what uh, transpires as this project uh, is concerned in our future videos so if you have reached this far i thank you if you have a repeat uh, viewer thank you for the support if you are new subscribe if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that whenever i do a new video you are notified thank you